Welcome back to You Own Your Health channel. Today, we're going to talk about a crucial topic for expectant parents, the difference between false labor and true labor. As your due date approaches, it's essential to be able to recognize the signs of real labor so you can make the right decisions and be prepared for the big day. Let's dive in. Distinguishing between false labor and true labor can be challenging, especially for first-time expectant parents. However, there are some key differences that can help you differentiate between the two. False labor also called as Braxton Hicks contractions. Irregular timing. Braxton Hicks contractions are typically irregular in frequency and duration. They might occur sporadically and not follow a consistent pattern. Pain or discomfort in the front. False labor contractions are often felt in the front of the abdomen. No intensification. These contractions usually do not get stronger or more intense over time. Movement reduces contractions. Changing positions or activity can often decrease or stop Braxton Hicks contractions. No progression. False labor doesn't lead to cervical dilation or effacement. Pain relieved by rest and hydration. Taking a rest and drinking water may alleviate Braxton Hicks contractions. Please like and subscribe to our channel and click bell icon to get more health updates. True labor. Regular and consistent timing. True labor contractions follow a regular pattern and become progressively closer together. As labor progresses, the contractions usually become stronger and more intense. Pain in the lower back to front. True labor contractions are usually felt in the lower back and wrap around to the front of the abdomen. Intensification over time. Contractions will become more intense and longer as labor advances. Contractions don't stop. True labor contractions do not subside with changes in position or activity. Cervical changes. True labor leads to cervical dilation and effacement as the cervix prepares for childbirth. Pain persists with rest and hydration. Unlike Braxton Hicks contractions, resting or drinking water does not usually stop true labor contractions. Thanks for watching. We hope you found it helpful. If so, don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel for more helpful pregnancy and parenting tips. See you in the next video.